What's going on, fellas? Do you know what time it is? It's time for a little bit of Valheim, but we're doing something a little different today. We're not going straight for the boss. We're looking for something out here, but can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's slimy, and it's not very nice, and people are typically scared of them. Yeah, that's right, baby. Sea serpents. I've never seen one in the game, so we're going to have plenty of fun trying to find one. But I'm pretty sure anything that, you know, big and kind of sticks out, say it makes it a pretty dead giveaway. We'll just find us one of these bad boys. We're just going to hang out in the ocean until we do. And that way, when we, that way when we find him, we can enact the game plan, baby. Oh, you big sea serpent, come here to me, fishy, please. Wow, they really are just... How far out does a dino need to be? I mean, this is a decent distance from land. So I definitely should be seeing one out here somewhere. Oh yeah, now we're living in the ideal conditions, baby. Oh yes, baby! Very cool, come on, Moby Dick. Need to ride that wind, baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's really not liking this, is it? Oh yeah, it's fine, bro. Oh yeah, keep on coming, dude. I got something special for you. Come on, you. Where you at? You're gonna have a hell of a time now, boss. Have to ride some tailwind down there. We may lose our boat, that's fine. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. Incorrecto, serpent. Come on. Wow, look at all these enemies. Trying to drag him up here into the meadows, but it's not working. Well, we lost the serpent for a moment, but I know he's out there, so. I just gotta repair my boat. Oh my god, look a brute, guys. The most dangerous enemy in the whole game. That was a joke, by the way. Okay. So we lost our serpent, but he was out there. So what I'm gonna go do is drag him back to the shore. After we do this, pop. Of course, we'll have headwind while doing it, but we'll, then we'll have tailwind when we come back. It's everything I ever hoped for. All right, we're gonna go try to find it again. I was really excited, but we had us a nice uh, stick up with some hogs. Okay, I figured out where our serpent went. It turns out, uh, that was a serpent that spawned at night. They can spawn during the rain, moderate or heavy rain, and if those are spawned in, so when, like when it rains, if I go out and one spawns in from the rain, that serpent will stay in the game until it's killed, I guess. But if one spawns in at the night, like the one we got, then they despawn during the day. I guess since we lost the serpent, I guess we'll go have to go do something else because I don't want to wait until nighttime again to have to kill one, though I would like it very, very much. All right, fellas, after the uh, disappointing uh, event, we have got to get more stuff done. What I am doing, if I can find my portal, I am about to go into the swamp. There's something there I need, and I think it's gonna help us. As far as gear goes, oh, I mean, we're pretty well ready, uh, but there is something I do want to look at that also is gear related in the swamp. It may help us, it may not, but we'll see. All right, so what we're looking for, we need two things from the swamp actually. The first of which being guck. And the reason we need that is we need that for the last bow upgrade in the game that I have completely forgotten about. Okay, so we need 20 silver, 10 ancient bark, two deer hide, and 10 guck. The hard part of that's gonna be, as you probably guessed, the guck. Oh, it wouldn't be Valheim if the log didn't roll away. Once we have a little bit of wood, go and find a tree with guck on it. There's a guck tree over there, which is what we need. All right, fellas, I'll show you my epic strat here. Ooh, an oozer. Oh yeah, anyway. Okay, we got us a guck sack. Sounds pretty good, don't it? Sounds like something you might, uh, something you might want to keep. A little hold on there. Oh, did you see me almost do it there? Okay, we're going down. Oh, that was really close, though. Oh, we found him. Thank God. All right, fellas, we got the gut we need. Let's do one last uh, spin around the old base here. Just double check that there isn't any more um, turnip seeds. Since we blundered on the sea serpent, I'm blaming the hog. We need to find a better food than just what we have, especially one for stamina. Back at the big base, boy. Still brokenhearted about losing my sea serpent. I, I can't get it out of my head. Probably don't have the fine wood for it. No, we don't. Mmm. Doesn't even need fine wood. Well, today's my lucky day. All right, let me max us out a new bow, fellas. Here you go, Mario. Oh, 
Okay, fellas, so what we need is some fine wood for some portals. So what I'm gonna go do, uh, what I have to do now, is I have to go get uh, more fine wood, as always, but uh, I need to be able to make a portal up there. And then also give us a second uh, a second forward operating base for just the mountain area in general. So I don't remember if I caught this on recording, but I'll show you guys anyway. We have the turnips over here, which are planted. We got these from swamps. They look kind of like really, really large daffodils. So they look like, uh, I'll show you. Just imagine a daffodil, but taller, and there's a lot more uh, pretty little flower petals. And uh, we need those to make a higher level food than what we currently have. It'll replace our meat. What we're gonna do is make a, a turnip stew, and that requires three turnips and one raw meat. So, we're still using meat, but we're making it into a better food. And if you recall, we were gonna get sea serpent meat, but one, it's not nighttime, and two, we have to be able to kill the sea serpent in a way that we can grab their drops. But the problem is, is if we kill the sea serpent uh, out in the water, some of their drops will drop down, and I wanna say they drop scales, which you can turn into a pretty high level shield. And if we kill them in the water, which we can do, we, we could kill the sea serpent in the water. Uh, in hindsight, what I probably should have done is just drug it ashore and just beat it silly, because I almost did kill it. I had no idea. I had thought I hit something else. But you know, you, you make little mistakes like that in the heat of the moment. What we need to do to really effectively farm sea serpents, I say farm with quotations, by the way, but to really effectively get sea serpents, it needs to be nighttime. It has to be nighttime to have a high chance of seeing one unless it spawns in a storm, which is the other condition. If it's raining out, a medium or heavy storm, uh, light rain, it won't trigger it, but that gives you a base percentage that a serpent will spawn in every so many feet. I think it's tile based, but irregardless, doesn't matter. But every ever so little distance, it has a 5% to spawn. But if you do it when it's raining and it's nighttime, the percentages stack. But really, it, it adds up to be 10%, but really it's not. It's two 5% chances, so you're rolling a 5% chance twice. Yeah, we're gonna try and every night go and get us a serpent. Because the serpent, the serpent uh, food is the best food in the game next to the lox pie, I think. Really excited about that. I'm hoping that that will definitely pan out for us. We are back at the orchard, and we are going to go and put the stuff up and go see if we can find us another serpent. The big improvement this um, night so far is it is not foggy like it was. The first night we went out, it was super foggy. The trick to hunting the sea serpent is going to be getting to land fast. We have got to haul hiney when we get that boy on the hook. Uh, the stamina drain is... It's honestly obnoxious. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We've got the perfect conditions, baby. Are we gonna see one? Uh, probably. We can kind of see the shore over there. It's not too far away, and with full tailwind, uh, we can really tuck tail and get out before they, he can do too much damage to us, so. Kind of working in our favor to go this way. But what we're not seeing is a serpent. Hey, baby. Come on, you. I've got a special destination for you. Oh, see how we're not moving? It's because we're not in the wind anymore. It's all right. Now we'll, now we'll rectify the situation. Come on, you. See, now we're, we're, we're cruising. So what we need to do is get into full tailwind and drive this boat right into the bank. There you go. Come here, you. So yeah, this is what we want to do. We want to get him up here. Get him right about... There we go. That's what I'm all about, baby. Now we're gonna fist fight some gray dwarfs to celebrate. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna give him a spanking. Oh yeah, that felt really nice. All right. So we got a six meat and eight scales and a trophy. So we got the full stack of goodies, fellas. I'm gonna see you guys back at base where we will prepare and get ready to go fight the dragon. Huh. You don't see a troll taking a bath every day. All right, fellas, we're back. Oh, you know where this goes. Hold on. Holy Jesus. Look at that bad boy. Look at him. We're gonna have to put him somewhere else. He's literally too big. Okay, honestly, the, the, the meat looks a little stupid. Look at how big it is. I mean, it looks stupid, but I like it. Oh yeah, baby. So now, what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to do something fancy. All right, so we got that bad boy down. And uh, we are gonna go through our new addition, which is a stair set that goes all the way down inside of the base, which is just so much better. All right, so what we do need to also look at, we need the mushroom. Can't believe I about threw it away. Let's look into seeing, ooh. 
Oh my lord. Okay, but what we get from the Serpent Shield, I don't have, I don't think I have the iron on hand to make it, but what I do get with it, it's an incredibly high block force, but I don't get any parry, which is strange. We, we definitely need to be able to parry right now, uh, especially with us about to go to the plains. One of, uh, <laughs> one of the monsters that we need to fight in there, the locks, which if you've paid attention at the trader, you have noticed that he has a thing called Halstein. It's that big dog looking thing. That is a lox. And once we get to the plains, we'll be seeing plenty of those. Yeah, we need one mushroom. So I actually need to go get five more mushrooms. Okay, fellas. We almost to the goal line. Yuck. The ground's shaking, huh? Is that what it's doing? I don't see the ground shaking. Do you guys see the ground shaking? Get it, fatty. Jogger Fang. Amazing. I'm out of arrow. Oh, I'll fight you. Oh, really? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at you guys. You just suck. Goodbye. All right. After fist finding trolls and ending the event, we're doing much better. Ooh, look at all this money. Look, guys. The only good part of that troll attack is that they broke the rogue logs. I'm so happy about this. It's been so long. All right. Now we should be cooking with gas. Uh so to speak. So instead of actually going for another serpent, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get us ready for Modia. And just like that, fellas, we got us the highest tier stuff in the game. Okay, so one thing we could do, go investigate the blood bag situation. We'll get us a medium healing brew going on. Uh, that'll help us in case the big boy is meaner than I thought. So I guess the next step is going to be to sell all the way to where Moder is. Uh, just so when we get out there, we're not screwed, you know? All right, fellas. So if you look through this window here, we got us a new portal. This is Mountain 2. But what you weren't expecting, what you would not have expected, is that I have come up with a very clever solution to getting my boat up there without sailing. Are you ready? No, don't blink. You'll miss it. Yep, you, you figured it out, guys. Okay, so <laughs> that was my genius plan, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you caught that in 4K, but yeah. So essentially what we did, we're just gonna, we just broke the boat down and we're just gonna take another one out there. We're gonna take the parts from that one and just plop it down at the trader. That way I don't have to sail it all the way back. Is it a bit broken? Probably. Also, peep the, peep the serpent head up there, though. Looking, looking very cool. All right, let's see if my ingenious has paid off. I'm not sure the best way to place this down, honestly. Because last time I placed it down, I got stuck in the roof. All right, we got our boat down, which is beautiful. I'm going to get some more food, and then we going to set sail. And I'll probably cut through a lot of that, because it's probably going to be a lot of the same. But... I'll see you guys in a few. So here's my plan, fellas. I'm gonna take sail, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sail all the way through the night. And the only reason I'm doing that is because if we do, we have a chance of seeing sea, sea serpents again. We got a tailwind. I mean, we could technically just sail straight across, I, I guess. I'm not really sure where we're going. We're just gonna kind of head straight for it and just go around any land masses that seem to be in the way. I don't think I can squeeze through there, honestly. We can try, though. It's just kind of random bits of swamp that makes me, like, hesitant to, you know, just go for it. Like, the wind direction's telling me to, but I don't want to get this boat stuck. And the map says that this shouldn't be happening. Oh, God. Something tells me something is very wrong. Dude, you know what? YOLO. We're gonna just go for it, I guess. I mean, honestly, at this point, what, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, no, 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 no. Ha, <laughs> ha. Uh-uh. No. Mm-mm. Hell no. Nah. Pass. It looks like it's just a spot of planes, but that's too much for me, even. I'll fight ten sea serpents in a row before I'm gonna go in the planes and hang out. Oh, do we do it? Do we just go for it? I mean, it's just that little bit, but, ah, the mosquitoes and stuff. Man. Mmm, nope, there's rocks. We're gonna have to sail around. Normally, I would say YOLO, but those right there, that murder hornet that's just out and about, casually, hard pass. I don't want anything to do with them. Yeah, what, with this situation we've got going on right now, what doesn't do for me is makes me happy. It doesn't fill me with joy to know that I'm going to have to go fight the apocalypse to go beat a dragon one time. You know what's funny is that the dragon spawn is the furthest away spawn that we will probably ever have. I'm calling it now that there are no other spawns that are that far away. Here we go. Now we're cooking with gas, baby. Yeah. So we made landfall at the Black Forest. We are 
probably most definitely on the island for the dragon. And the good news is that since he has been marked on our map, we shouldn't have too hard of a time of finding him at all. What I am gonna do though, um, I'm gonna get us a little FOB post kind of set up here because we are kind of in a far off place. And should I die, I would like to be able to respawn. Y'all wanna see some dangerous games? Oh, it's dangerous. Ooh, that was actually a good save, low key. I thought that it was gonna do all the damage to it, and it barely, it only hit it once, so. All right, let's get this show on the road. Everything is settled here. We got our stamina mead brewing as well. While we're waiting on stuff, is we can go see if we have our new tier of food ready. Huh, weird. So, we did get our turnips and stuff, but they didn't drop any seeds. Oh yeah, the stamina buff is what's gonna get me there. Okay, so here is gonna be our, this is gonna be our boss stack. The two stews and then the sausages. So I'm excited to see how that turns out actually. We will see you guys in a minute. Oh, riggedy right fellas. We back, got our egg, got our stuff going. We uh, started brewing this mead, it's been a while. Kind of been letting it time out. So yeah, we, we, we booing now. With everything we need to go fight the dragon, we're gonna go ahead and start heading that way. We are going to bring the eggs through the portal all at once and store the rest of them on the boat. I'll meet you guys over at the new forward operating base. Okay, now we can start carrying these eggs to and from. The first trip's gonna take the longest, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that underway because I don't expect too much to happen. Uh, we are gonna get the first two in there, and then uh, after that, we're gonna get the rest of our gear, get ready, and carry that last egg up and go and beat us up a dragon. See if we can make an impressive shot. What do you think? Oh, yeah. I thought I would totally miss, but it definitely hit him. Great, great, mm-hmm. Make sure we're not getting a discount at uh, mountain experience here. If we're not surrounded on all sides and covered in blood, it wouldn't be a wouldn't be a real run to the mountains now, would it? Oh yes, there it is. What in the hell? Why are there so many of them? Well, that's four drakes in a row. What is this madness? Yeah, uh, somehow there were like five. All right, there they go. They're all down for the count. Got my little Legolas fit there. Hey, <laughs> what if it only requires one egg? That'd be kind of funny. Ooh, there's one right up there. I I'm actually digging this. So we'll, we'll be. Ooh, yeah. Now we're balling. Hey, look, it's one of those. You can't have your eggs back. Those are mine now. All right, so let's go back to the base, get our gear, get our stuff, and then it may be better to wait until daytime just so the fin rings don't bite me too bad. This is actually a pretty flat area. I kind of like it. So I guess we can actually leave that stuff behind because for the first time in a while, that isn't going to be our battle stack. So what I think we do, we eat us a salsa jaws, get our meads here, and I guess we'll take a frost resistance mead. Maybe it helps. Maybe it gives you more frost resist. I say what we do is we go and get this last dragon egg and we go kick us a dragon's ass. It's just time to head up the mountain. Look at that size of that health bar and stamina bar. Good night. Oh boys, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. All right, fellas, I guess it is that time. So let's get right into the madness. Donde esta the dragon? Boy. Son, come on now. Starting to think maybe I should have brought it like the sword. Ooh, you suck. There we go, a little bit of. Man, this is like thematic as hell. Look at that light up there. Come on now. Man, you, you're you pain in the ass. Kind of not what I wanted, but all right. Yeah, I kind of created an environment you can't walk around in, eh? Ooh, yeah, you, you got us, you a nice health pool, dude. What you got, girl? What you got? Oh, you stuck. You stuck yourself. I didn't do that. Woohoohoo! Bit of an anger problem there, Chief. You like that breath attack a lot, don't you? There you go. Get you up there. Yeah, because if you don't damage her, she heals. Yeah. What you got, big dog? Woohoo! There we go. We getting my groove back now, baby. Man, you really just not want to stand still, eh? Yeah, I shouldn't have stood still either. My, my. I might have to be a little more careful right now. End up getting flattened by a stupid attack, man. There we go. Come on. You're almost down now. Whew. Okay, she's... 
dragon do be hitting a little harder than the other bosses. Good on ya. You actually have mythological levels of strength. I'm good with that. Oh, the world save, man. Man, I'm missing all kinds of shots. <clears throat> okay, yeah, we need to back up for a second. We're gonna get smoked. Take the conservative strategy here. Woo! God bless it, America. Woo-wee. Well, fellas, I almost got creamed right there. I don't know if y'all saw that. That was pretty bad. That was some mega dummy head blaze right there, dumbass. But uh, we got her. So I guess now... The only thing to do is to head back to base. Give me those tendies, bro. Oh, I got a, I got a fin ring trophy, man. We fitting out the whole base today. So we're heading down. We're out of the, the Infinity War cesspit of the mountain, so we can do a little discussing. So let's hop right over here. There is a plains biome over there, and I'm very interested to go in there. However, what we've got to do first is go see what these goes. Put the trophy on the stone, and then we have got to see what the tears are about. We got. 10 of them and we got to see what uh what uh, the next step is i think for sure the next step is definitely going to be um building a base in the plains or at least setting up a forward operating base out there but i don't know how dangerous that'll be i'm sure that'll be very dangerous so i hope you're all ready for like a death montage or something Let's see what do we do we unlock anything in here uh, oh artisan table oh do tell more but i think it can fit here ho oh, ho it unlocked a bunch of goodies spinning wheel which is going to be linen, a blast furnace. Now that's something I'm excited about. I'm gonna assume that's for black uh, black iron. And then a windmill. Hmm, let's see. Ooh, it has hoppers at the bottom. Is this functional? You know what, if it is functional and it's not just, you know, like a decorative piece, then what that is probably for is probably to grind grains, if I had to guess. That's what I guess they used to be used for. So, though I have yet to see any vegetation that is like that so could be wrong but never really know we're gonna go put this dragon head on the sacrificial stone son and then we gonna be cooking we got our ugly bone mash trophy let's put up some a little more elegant Ooh, always tell when when selling what I'm, i've got to give that a try well let's get back to the big boy base and unload all this fun stuff well, all right then, fellas. Since we have pretty well done everything I had hoped we could do in this episode, and maybe a little bit more, and got us a boss kill, got us some sweet foods, uh, a good sea serpent kill, all kinds of goodies. So with all that fun stuff out of the way and said, I guess we'll call it here and pick it up in the next one where we go into the plains and see what horrors of hell have escaped into that place. So until then, guys, see you next time.